Hello YouTube! Okay, we're just gonna make a little quick video here, uh, basically, because I forgot to make a video last night for tonight, so, and we're currently filming, it'll come from back from, we're gonna be currently filming a, uh, the Canadian Pacific train, uh, which you probably see tomorrow night, so stay tuned for that. Well, what, I'm, what I have not done for a while was I usually check my analytics uh, once in a while. What it is, it's a ratings report for every individual YouTuber. So if you've got a, you've got a YouTube channel and you have a video up, uh, you'll be familiar with the analytics, so basically, and all that stuff. But uh, it's not just the analytics I pay attention to, uh, basically. So what I'll do is... Uh, on, on everything I'll look into is I look into my overview. Overview has me my watch time, uh, average uh, view durations, uh, uh, total views, and your estimated income, plus uh, a list of videos of how it's performing, how it estimated income based on the videos on the last 28 days. I got mine set up uh, for the last 28 days. And, by 28 days is currently right now it's between when I'm making this video is running from November 4th 2016 to December 1st 2016 so it's gonna be a couple of days behind uh, uh, just let you know on that part uh, also on my geographics uh, basically uh, where my views are coming from not just in the United States uh, also around the world outside the United States so I monitor that uh, situation, gender, uh, play, playback locations, and traffic sources. Traffic sources is usually your browsers and all that stuff, or YouTube channels. It's just uh, where they're finding your videos, basically, on that. Uh, the one feature I really like the most is the real-time uh, analytics uh, on real-time. That's basically what this is. It's the little chart here, the last 48 hours. Right now, I got no views currently in the last 60 minutes because a lot of people's busy this weekend, uh, technically. So, uh, and, and all that stuff. So, I, I pay attention to that. And I think a couple other uh, analytics I do pay attention to uh, is the uh, what I call audience retention. And what I target. What I try to target is between 42% and 52% of total videos, of overall videos being viewed. Individual videos, I like to see around, uh, I like to see around 55 to 65% uh, of videos being viewed. That's just a reasonable goal. I would say that's more than 50% of the videos being watched. Uh, if we can be able, uh, it all depends on the content too that I'm providing too. So that what we're trying to put together. And of course, the devices, uh, oh, I forgot to mention that we're currently right now in the last 28 days overall on all the videos. In the last 28 days, we're averaging 46%, uh, we're averaging 46%, says so right there. About 5 minutes, 11 seconds uh, average duration in the last 28 days on overall uh, views, uh, basically on, uh, basically, uh, that's, uh, Basically, that, that was it. Uh, there are some technical issues with YouTube on my data system. I think everybody has some form of technical issues on it, so it ain't going to have a full report, uh, basically. But I'll just give you what I usually pay attention to anyway. Uh, one more thing I, I want to mention is, uh, is kind of a little odd. I kind of watch uh, where the views are coming from. If it's coming from a computer, mobile device, TV, tablet... Uh, and gaming console. Uh, yeah, you watch uh, YouTube through gaming consoles. And the TVs are usually designated to, uh, uh, relegated to the current new TV systems like, uh, like Smart TV, uh, Chromecast, and, and Android TVs, those newer TVs that has YouTube built into it. All the other TVs, it has to go through the cable or internet connections uh, basically uh, to watch it through there I would say ours is through our um, to watch uh, YouTube on that big screen TV right there we have to connect to uh, it would have to connect to a cable system in there and we run a connection from the computer to the uh, cable system uh, basically that's how we watch YouTube uh, in a way and I think we're just going to wrap up this uh, video here real quick is uh, we're going to go right to the uh, 
Uh, I do monitor the uploads and how see they're doing by watching the numbers uh, grow in one way or another. Because if it's a small number, it does not mean it's a bad video. It's just uh, I have seen bad videos come out of the dead. What I mean by coming out of the dead was uh, it goes into my papa popular uploads it's based what other youtubers do with similar videos so if someone will say if you take one of our worst viewed videos let's say let's take an average let's take let's take last night's video when I was making this we're at currently 34 views if someone would have made a similar video and put similar tags towards us and they get views all of a sudden we get noticed and we start getting views so basically uh, it's almost like two videos, it's almost multiple videos working together as one, uh, basically. That's how I noticed that some of my videos, uh, let's say my uh, Eagle Point Park uh, on my pop up upload, uh, Eagle Point Park, Clinton, Iowa, uh, vlog number 35, it was literally, uh, last year at this time, it was only at 60 something odd views, now it's at 309 views. Uh, that gives you an idea that there's some people that put other videos up similar to that video and our videos get noticed by somebody else's uh, work, uh, basically. Uh, the wind, uh, storm and windmill, uh, basically same thing. Uh, power outage video, 160, vlog 169. I only had like 90 views. It gained 110 in the last uh, 40 plus days, I think it was. So that's good for that video, uh, at least. Some older videos get recognized, uh, basically, and that. So that's basically it. I just pay attention to my analytics. It just tells me, uh, hopefully, try to get some kind of content what we want to produce for you guys. We know we are sharing our daily lives, what's involved around us. Uh, here in Clinton, Iowa, in this apartment, budget-wise, and whatever we feel like, what we want to share with you guys, that's how we make our videos, basically. So, we're going to end this video right now. It's running a little longer than I wanted to, so please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and tomorrow we'll be having the Canadian Pacific Holiday Trade.